So a few people asked me to do a review on Ivy, so that's what I'm going to do today. Let's start with the meat outfit. Um, I lost the boots. Well, I just misplaced them, but for now, they won't be in the video. Um, so let's start off with her pants. Um, her pants are, are not good quality, but I, um, I don't like them very much. This is weird. It's supposed to be like a pocket, I think. Um, there's just nothing on the back. They're stretchy. And they're a weird green color with yellow stitching. Here's her meat shirt. It is a silky material with, um, I don't know what to call this fabric, but I, <laughs> I don't like it. Um, this flap thing here is weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So yeah, what I'm saying is I don't like her meat outfit at all. I find it really ugly, honestly. So that's one thing I do not like. But she is for sure one of the cutest dolls I own. Her eye color is really cute. It's um a brown, but it's not like any other brown eyed dolls. It's really, really pretty. And her eye shape is also really pretty. Her hair is short and very, very silky. It doesn't get frizzy easy. And um, I've heard people say that it falls out, but I have not had that experience. Oops, sorry, I just kicked my tripod. <laughs> she comes with her ears pierced. I added the star earrings, but what she comes with are gold studs. And that's about it. Um, I highly recommend this doll. She's gorgeous, photogenic, and everything that a YouTuber or photographer would want. So that's the end of my review on Ivy Ling. If you have any other dolls that you would like me to review, comment down below, and I will hopefully get to them. Okay, thank you. Bye!